Well, this is Don Cost Jr. and I'm back with you wrestling fans and I am joined right now. Bart Sawyer's gone, he's in the ring and beside me is flamboyant Karen Fox. I know, Don, that you're so happy to have a ringside calling the action with you. And I'm telling you, we've got some serious action in the ring now. A three-way dance. You've got Steven Dunn, Whoopi D, and Battling Bart Sawyer all going at it at one time. And I'm telling you what, there's just so much going on in NWA Worldwide today that I just don't know where to begin. What you're seeing are highlights from the match last week, the three-way dance between these three. If you want to see the whole thing, you had to be there live. You're just getting some very brief clips, but yeah, we have a lot going on. Um, Bart Sawyer, who's in the ring now, he's going after Chris Michaels' title tonight. With, I mean, I'm sorry, Colorado Kid's title, because Chris Michaels has put the $5,000 bounty on that belt. $5,000, and if Bart Sawyer beats the Colorado Kid tonight, all he's got to do is hand over that gold strap and he'll be $5,000 richer. Yeah, I can tell Chris Michaels, I know a guy that lives around East Nashville can make him a belt a whole lot cheaper than that, but uh, it's not what it, the one he wants. And, well, you, you're right here in the match, uh, Steve, this is where Stephen Dunn is cornered between the two of them. This was a tough match for Stephen Dunn. I mean, he, uh, it was not a three-way dance. It was a handicap. It the was two on one. The odds were stacked against Stephen Dunn here, and, you know, even if the odds weren't stacked against Stephen Dunn, I, I don't think Mark Sawyer has much problem out of Stephen Dunn, but you see, Miscalculation right there. Bart accidentally he hit, you know, Wolfie, and now Steve is really going in for the kill now, and that's that's that shows that Stephen Dunn is a veteran in the world of professional wrestling. Right, Stephen Dunn's able to hold his own against both these guys, which does show he is a true professional, and a true athlete. But whether or not Bart Sawyer takes a belt from Colorado Kid tonight, 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 or not, I can tell you one thing: that Colorado Kid will definitely be at Mapco on Saturday, January 23rd uh, with the Main Street Food Court. I believe that's on Highway 109 and I-40, exit 232. Right down there in Lebanon, you take I-40 East out there. It's one, it's past the Mountain Juliet exit, one exit past the Mountain Juliet exit, Highway 109, right off the interstate. You just want to hang a left and you're right there at that Mapco. But you know what I can't wait for? What can you not wait I for? I cannot wait for fabulous February, the big reunion to show. And let me tell you something, there's going to be some legends inducted into the Hall of Fame of Wrestling. Guess what? I think I'm up for one. I think I'm up for Do you? One. You mean yeah. flamboyant Farron Fox will be at the fabulous February reunion? For real? I have done so much in the world of professional wrestling. And you think you're going to get inducted into the Legends Hall of Fame? I am a legend in Nashville. Wrestling. You can go anybody, you can go ask anybody at the local bars, and I will tell you that I am a legend in Nashville. Uh, local bars? But we won't go under that. Okay. But I'm telling you what, and also, Jerry the King Lawler, a man that I truly respect for his talents in the wrestling world. You know, me and him have always been on great terms. Me and Jerry Lawler, and I tell you what, I cannot wait to see him in Nashville and say, and just go up and just give a big old hook and say, you know, it's so nice to see you back in Nashville. Well, we won't talk about that relationship. But, um, I've, uh, yeah, I've heard about you and Jerry Lawler. I hear Jerry Lawler is a real big fan of yours, Farron. Every king needs a queen. Oh boy, we really won't Miss go there. Miss Stacy, Miss Stacy, a lovely lady in the world of professional wrestling. And I'm telling you what, and he's going after the Colorado Kid and is going to take that North American title from Colorado if Bart Sawyer doesn't give it back to Chris Michaels. I'm, it's just it's just too much. It's confusing. Well, Colorado Kid has the deck stacked against him. Everyone's after that North American title. And besides the fact that Bart Sawyer's gunning for it, Jerry Lawler's gunning for it, Chris Michaels has decided to take another way out. He's going to meet with Bill Barons in Atlanta Monday to talk to him about how he was supposedly robbed of the title. He was robbed. Burt Prentice, we seen earlier on the tape, grabbed his foot, robbed Chris Michaels of the title. And Chris Michaels is going to get it back one way or the other. And I believe that was the exact same way that Chris Michaels got it in the first place. I wasn't here then. Right, Burt just set the scale straight. Boy, you are now this is one of the parts of the match where Stephen Dunn's really taking the beating at the hands of both men. I mean, he can only hold his own against two men for so long. And I, referee Kurt Johnson has his hands full on I'm this. I'm telling one. you what, at, at every Stephen Dunn match, it's like a rerun. He spends more time on the mat than he does off of it. Well, that's what I've heard about you too, Farron. I'm, I understand that you spend a lot of time looking up at the lights. I've been cheated every match I've been in that I've lost in the NWA Worldwide. But that's beside the point. I'm telling you what, I am excited, excited, excited. Tonight, 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 fabulous action from start to finish right down to the fairgrounds. You only see a fraction of the action right here on this television show. If you want to see what really happens, oh, you need to be there live. I love that to come back from Steve Dunn. That was beautiful. They had him up. Oh, that was the win. Stephen Dunn got the win on the two of them. He outsmarted him. They tried too hard, too hard to just beat him, and he won the match. And now they're, they're going to continue the action afterwards. 
L. Oh. oh, a big pile driver. I think Bob was trying to backdrop him. He didn't quite get him over. And now he's done pinned him again. Swanson pinned both of them. Two sliding in the ring right there. Last, last Flanagan. Flanagan. With the Halliburton. Oh, now that's a three-way beating point. Stephen Dunn just can't get an even break. He can get every bone in his body broken, but he can't get an even break. Exactly, you know what I mean. Exactly. Stephen Dunn, yeah, he's going to get an even break. Break right over that Halliburton and broke a broken head. That's what he's going to get. Yeah, he's he's not a, no stranger to a broken head. We've seen him bleeding many times. Uh, I don't know what Steve's going to have to do to get back at these guys. They just are constantly outnumbered him time and time again. Here's referee Kurt Russell back to try to help out the situation, but he's not going to get in there with those three maniacs. He may end up on the receiving end of a beating, too. He's been there before. Yeah, he has. He has. He's been had sickness. I mean, Kurt has oh, a lot of beatings and hook cap right upside there. I, hold on. I, I think I think oh. he's reaching for the uh, he's, he's reaching for the microphone. Let's see what he's got to say. I give you battling Bart Sawyer. Stephen Dunn. <laughs> if you think I didn't have an insurance policy coming into this, you live up to your name, Stephen Dumb. Bart Sawyer, Steve Sawyer, whatever you want to call yourself. You know, you're talking about insurance policies. That's a good thing, son. Because tonight, Nashville, Tennessee, you say it's going to be Bart's surprise. Well, I've got a surprise for you. Because I don't care what you bring, who you bring, or where you bring them, I'm going to kick their butts, I'm going to kick their ass, and I'm coming after you. This thing has gone on way too far. And I'll tell you something right now. I promised the fans I was going to run you right out of here when you turned your back on me in that big steel cage. You made the biggest mistake of your career. You've been up here calling me a prima donna. You've been talking about me. Well, you, you don't even know what my life is like right now. And every bit of aggression that I've got focused on other things, I'm focusing on you now and whoever you bring to the ring. So you bring it on, Nashville, Tennessee, tonight. Bart, surprise, it's mine. Tonight, tonight.